Bali Zoo. The world famous Bali Zoo. We started, uh, ooh, we came and picked us up at like 20 minutes after 7. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the morning. And we didn't think we were going to get picked up to like 7.45. So we weren't even ready, actually, when he picked us up. <laughs> we got my hat. Yeah, I, scrambling, I forgot my hat. Trying to you know. grab things. All right, y'all. We just saw like a little kangaroo animal thing. <laughs> and Lashawn was scared. I think she thought it was a cat. Oh. It went around this corner and disappeared, so I don't it's know. It's behind that bench, so he... Oh, let he, me see. I know exactly where things are. Where'd he go? He's over behind this bench. Oh, there's a big one over there. Yeah, there's big ones. Let's stop at the deer crossing. We went ahead and booked a the breakfast with the orangutans. So you have like, uh, you come in, you know, you get greeted and everyone gets on a little shuttle bus to go to the other side of the uh, park. There's a big cafeteria area with a buffet. Amazing food. Yeah. And there's, you know, you walk up, and there's animals on the way there. And, yeah. Uh, there's elephants. There's two elephants, you know, outside. The orangutans you can, you are right swinging. Take picture. Yeah, the orangutans <laughs> are swinging around and stuff. When the breakfast starts, then the announcer comes on. He, he's introducing all the animals and how old they are. And, you know, they kind of just come around. and. Well, because, they first give you a warning to hold on to your cameras, your purses, your glasses, your hats. Because they are not responsible for if there are any damage, if the um, orangutans or the gibbon or you know an elephant come, grabs something and yeah and just takes yeah. off with it, yeah, it's, it's your gone. fault, not theirs. Yeah, um, so you can kind of just want to walk right up to them and take pictures with them, and you know the one of the orangutans had a little baby, uh, one of the the, the gibbon uh, had a little five month old baby, uh, and so there's two elephants. There was another orangutan. There was a uh, Birds, beautiful birds you can take pictures with. So it was that was just a really nice experience altogether. I got the chance to feed uh, an elephant mm -hmm. and uh, take some pictures with it. Uh, the trunk is so strong, it's crazy. I felt like you know, I felt like if I didn't let go of that corn cob, like it would have just twisted my arm it and broken it pieces. off. It, it, the thing was crazy strong. Went to go see the tigers. The tiger, yeah. And uh, it was once. It was two tigers. One of them was walking around. Mm -hmm. Um, I told Steve he was uh, sizing up his no, meal. No, he was. He was just walking back just and being forth, curious. walking back and forth, looking like, yeah, mess up. I'm just <laughs> waiting for you to mess up because you're gonna be very tasty. <laughs> yeah, so we we saw the tigers for about 20 minutes because we knew we had to be back to do the uh, elephant uh, expedition. expedition. Elephant expedition, in short, is you get a chance to ride an elephant around the park. I think for about 20, maybe 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, ride. Yeah. We are on top of an elephant. <laughs> okay, let me just give you my side. At first I was excited, but once I got on the elephant, I would say immediately I felt bad about doing that. And Steve and I had this conversation because I wasn't aware that they have this little, it's a, it's a tool they have a little spike on it. It's not. It's a hook. It's like a dull hook. And so for me, I wouldn't want to treat an animal that way. Not that he was slamming it or, you know, um, hitting him, the animal hard or anything like that. It's just my idea of the whole thing was just not for me. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, I'm riding an animal that is in captivity, captivity and He's been directed with the, this hook and everything to go this direction, that direction. Now, he wasn't abused, but it's just I wouldn't want anyone to ride my back. I wouldn't want anyone to poke me with this tool to go this direction, that direction. Um, we had more of a conversation about it. He had some valid points, you know, because we all have animals in some type of captivity, where it, whether it's a dog a bird or a cat, whatever, you know, yeah. um, all of it's wrong. So that's just my take on that part. And that's when the grow. So I, I enjoyed the elephant ride. Uh, if you've ever ridden like a horse or whatever, it's just, it's a different experience. The elephant that we were on, the biggest elephant there that we were riding. And he and said he was 35? 30, yeah, 35 years old. Mm -hmm. 
and you know we took a you know a nice little stroll and everything and went through the the pond and he'd spray water uh it was a pretty cool experience actually just it was a it was a a a, a different experience for me but not a bad experience yeah from there we got a chance to just kind of explore the zoo mm -hmm. and see all the animals so i'll put some of that here um but so i did get a, a chance. lemur was that the yeah, lemur? Those, are, those are lemurs yeah bats oh my gosh yeah big old fruit bats uh, Huge flying foxes yeah bats yeah. i can't believe i was inside this enclosed area with these animals running loose yeah I don't know how she did it i don't know how i did it either <laughs> i really don't i guess i just trusted nature <laughs> to not attack me yeah. so Nothing and to worry I, about. I would i didn't want to ruin the experience for him so it was all about him yesterday and I didn't want to ruin that for him because he doesn't ruin it for me. Whatever I want, he's always supportive. So I wanted to be supportive of him and his decision to be among nature. Thank you. Um, so there was some more tigers. Uh, yeah, more well, tigers. Um, that we, actually, I had purchased two tickets to feed a lion uh, or a tiger. Um, so I had since I had two tickets, I could do one of each. And he um, actually fed the tiger. And I the fed tiger. the tiger. It was Look your camera. This is simple. So, oh white tiger. My. There were two tigers in this particular enclosure. This is a different enclosure than the tigers we saw earlier. So these were, these, these were bigger. Yeah, these were bigger. The first ones we saw were Bengal tigers. I think these may have I have been, no idea uh, they were just big. These may have been Siberian tigers. I'm not sure. All I saw was these huge teeth yeah. and paws looked like they were this these big. Uh, <laughs> You're going to see the paws lay right there that big. Yeah. And when he stood up, he or she, I'm sorry, I don't know, stood up. They give you like a piece of chicken on a pole and you stick it in the gate. Uh, but... Also, got a chance to feed a lion a little later. The lion was enormous. There were two of them, and the lion was enormous, and it was just. It was almost just talking, like it was. He was like growling. Hey. <laughs> yeah, grunting and like was, I'm ready. I don't cool. want this chicken. I see all of this right yeah. here. I I want a nice size one. <laughs> yeah, feeding that lion was cool, and just seeing all the other animals in the park. You know, we got like a lot of nice pictures. It's a lot of it was a lot of um monkeys and apes so you know there were gibbons and different types of monkeys beautiful birds ostriches. you want to uh give you a little definition of between a monkey and a uh i'm not going to give yes because you don't have to give a full definition just so you always correct monkeys and apes are not the same i always correct her when she it's not just me the two. i correct anybody actually thank you um google it <laughs> google it just me. monkeys generally have tails and their arms and legs are usually uh, proportional. Uh, apes are, also monkeys are intelligent. Apes are even more intelligent. Their arms are usually longer than their legs and they typically don't have tails. So, you know, your apes are your gorillas, chimps, bonobos, gibbons, orangutans. Um, and then monkeys are all the rest of them. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's other things too, but yeah, generally speaking, that's there's a difference. So when I when someone calls an ape a monkey, I'm like, yeah, it's, he just stops it's and like stop right it's there. Not a monkey. That's right. not a monkey. Okay. <laughs> just so you know. Uh, yeah, I'm that guy. Uh, <laughs> so and so yeah, that that experience. You no, know, we we were glad that we chose to do the early um, tour. Mm -hmm. uh, pick up because you know they, they come and pick you up from the zoo so we you have to no, no you purchase a ticket if you want a hotel return mm -hmm. transfer if you can choose not to do that but if you do they will pick you up from the hotel and return you to the hotel yeah. so we're glad we did the early one 
because here in Bali, especially here, like, you know, November, this is the beginning of the rainy season. So it rains every day. It's rained every day since we've been here. Right now, it's sunny. It's around, around, you know, noon. one noon, one o'clock ish. It'll start getting really cloudy. Mm-hmm. And then it'll just, it'll pour. It'll, you know, thunder and, and we haven't really seen any lightning, but it'll thunder and um, a, a torrential yeah, would, downpour. Yeah. We did Once everything. We did, we did all, everything we needed was done by the time it started raining. Because I said, okay, look, we're going to go to this animal show. Which was nice. Which was at 1? At 12. 12. It was at 12. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, as soon as this animal show is done, because they see the clouds rolling in. Oh, it was dark. You, you see the dark clouds kind of rolling in, right? So I said, all right, when this animal show is done, we're going to go back over to this uh, this other cafeteria. It's, in, it's, it's covered. Indoor restaurant. Yeah. Um, it was like an indoor-outdoor. So... So we're going to go over there, get some lunch, and we're going to chill out for a while. And then we will we were supposed to meet back at the front by 2 p.m. to meet our driver. Yeah, we went back over to the restaurant, ordered some food, and here comes the rain. Like, it was just pouring. Pouring. It was perfect because uh, we forgot our rain jackets. Yeah, and And umbrella. umbrella. (laughs) Since, yeah, we were kind of in a hurry this morning, that morning. Worked out perfect by the time it stopped raining. It was around 1-something. Yeah, it was about 1-20. And gave us time to walk back to um, the front gate, mm-hmm. get our driver to pick us up mm-hmm. and head back. So we got back to the hotel, but right, right around two, two fifteen yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and, and we didn't do anything else. Anything else after that yeah, we besides tired. take a nice hot shower, relax. He asked me if I wanted a, another massage. No, I just yeah. needed sleep. We both took a nap. This is what's crazy. We both took a nap in the middle of the day. Um, like but we I haven't said, planned. We didn't plan like our adventures at no. all before we came. We were like, I ah, would just kind of do it on the fly. Yeah, it's kind of working out better actually. Exactly. Stay tuned. More to come. Yep. We'll see you soon. Bye.